How to set up a traffic campaign with Twitter slash X ads. The top left here, go to campaigns, hit create campaign. Select advanced so you have the most options. Now for the objective, select website traffic and then hit next. You can call the campaign whatever you want. So I will call it traffic campaign for marketplace. You can choose whether you want to do A-B testing or not. You can take a look advanced to see if you want to put a spending cap. So let's say we only want to spend $250. Hit next. Call the ad group whatever we want. So I'm just going to call it ad group one. Decide if you want to do dynamic product ads. You can set a daily budget. Instead, I'm going to set a total budget. Let's say for this particular ad group, we just want to spend 100 and the remainder in other ad groups. You can select when the campaign runs, select the goal. Now, site visits is a nice goal if you're able to actually own the website or install some sort of tracking onto a website. But if you're driving traffic to a landing page or maybe to something like an article on TechCrunch or the New York Times that talks about your product, then you're probably going to want to go with link clicks, which is what I do a lot of the time just because of the type of marketing that I'm running. Uh, I'm going to leave the default here as auto bid, but you can certainly get more manual here and figuring out how much you want to bid. Like if you just want to bid a dollar per click, for example, um, that would be a, a good way of controlling your costs. I want to pay in this case by link click. Pacing, if you want to spend it very quickly, would make sense if you're selling like a an entertainment product or something like a very seasonal product. Uh, but I'm just going to go with standard, which is what they recommend here. You can take a look at some of the advanced options here. And you can decide which placements you're going to want to go in. And it'll give you a little preview of what those look like. In this case, I'm just going to leave them all on. For demographics, I'm going to leave the gender as any and change the age range to 21 to 49. May not be relevant in your case. Select the language as English. Location is defaulted here to the United States. That's fine. Devices, all are great. In some cases, you might want to go with just desktop only to be more conservative. Device, carrier, I'm going to leave all those the same. Now, the, uh, the targeting is where it's going to be very important. So who are you trying to target? Is it people that are uh, searching for certain keywords in a certain niche, in a business-to-business -business niche, business-to-consumer niche? A lot of the times, I'm going after people that are interested in product marketing. So I'm going to put that in there, or maybe they're interested in marketing course. So I'll select that. Maybe they're interested in Udemy. So I can select that as well. Uh, you could use different targeting options. Follower lookalikes. I've had bad experiences with that in the past, so I don't like it. Uh, one of the reasons is because people have a lot of fake followers and that can lead you down the wrong path in terms of who you're targeting. Uh, interest might be useful for you. Uh, movies and TV shows, maybe if you're in entertainment, certain events, maybe South by Southwest, something like that. Conversation topics could be useful, uh, but keywords is, is going to be pretty detailed in, in most cases. You can also retarget people or uh, target people that are followers of your account. And uh, I'm going to hit next. Uh, you can name the ad whatever you want to. You can choose your product category. Destination's my website. That's the only option that I have here for the media. Uh, I'm just going to go, you can go with a single image or a carousel. Carousel would be very good if you're doing e-commerce. Uh, single image is what I'm going to go with here. It's just very simple. So let's uh, put in an image. Let's see if it accepts this format. Okay, looks like it's fine. Sizing's accepted by Twitter. We can also see that I could choose one of these videos that I ran before. Now we can put in some text at the top. This is a top uh, copywriting course by Decker Fraser MBA. You can also put a headline here, number one copywriting course for business to business and business to consumer marketers, something like that. You can put in a URL. So I just have a refer URL here for one of my courses and then hit next. And that's how you would approach a traffic slash links clicks campaign. You could hit launch campaign 
and uh, see if that starts driving traffic to your source. Now, one thing to bear in mind is that a lot of the times you don't want to run a traffic campaign. You just want to run something that's designed to generate conversions because uh, link clicks are somewhat of a vanity metric if the goal is immediate conversions. But immediate conversions are not going to work in a lot of cases. So, for example, with business to business, your sales cycle might be more than a year. So expecting people to sign up for a demo or to buy something right away doesn't make any sense. If you're selling an impulse purchase, maybe something like chocolate bars or uh, something that where people don't have to spend a lot of time researching and are willing to just sort of buy it immediately because of a short term promotion, uh, then conversions make sense. For me, a lot of the times I'm driving traffic to a marketplace. So marketplaces would be things like Amazon or Lazada and uh, maybe Salesforce App Exchange. So you can't really track conversions very well in those situations. Traffic makes sense. Traffic also makes sense when you have third party verification. So an article in the New York Times, you want to drive traffic there, even though you don't own the website, you get more credibility by promoting the New York Times brand rather than just driving people to some self-serving article on your own website.